All right, so thanks for joining me. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at Goldman Sachs here. It just recently reported earnings, so we're going to go ahead and evaluate uh, this stock briefly. Uh, if you do want to go ahead and also check out some of the classes we have upcoming, uh, check out tradersfly.com. Uh, We've got Market Seasons based on options, uh, Risk Array that we just had, and we had a bunch of other great classes, so check that out. And there's also a Discord channel, so if you're kind of uh, brand new uh, and you want to just check out some other charts that I have posted in the past, some of them are good for a couple months so just check out some of the technicals uh there as well all right so let's kick things off with uh goldman sachs we're going to go ahead and just take a look at what's going on uh it did top analyst estimates here and uh you know um it looked all right but the thing is is that the market is still acting a bit weak so this is something to watch out for so you could look at all these headlines and and so on as far as earnings go and if you go into the goldman sachs on the uh earnings numbers you know, at the end of the day, the numbers don't really matter for a shorter term trader. Longer term, yeah, it will matter in the, in the forecasting. Uh, but what matters more is actually the way the stock behaves in reaction to the news. Because the earnings could be good, but the stock sells off because of future expectations or the earnings could be bad, but the stock power is higher. So here what we're seeing, you know, if we're looking at the earnings conference call right here, what you can see is uh, it's going on, but here is the number side. Where is it? There it is. Uh, earnings uh, 8.614 estimated, but actual is 10.76. So it actually ended up doing quite well uh, when you take a look at the, look at it that way. So anyway, um, as we get into the stock chart, I want to just evaluate the stock chart for you. And I want to start out with kind of more of the monthly chart and uh, just pinpoint some of the simple support resistance levels for you. So this stock had, here's a descending resistance and we had a nice breakout right here. So there's the breakout. We got into the highs of about 400 and now that stock is pulling back, you know, let's just say about halfway between that uh, breakout point to the highs. And if we go to about that halfway point, this is where things could get into a nice a b c d pattern uh but we will see because there is some bearish volume here that's coming into play so you do have to watch those things you could also draw a little bit of a line here for a possible support 300 also a nice psychological number so that's kind of something to kind of watch out for uh just banks overall right now they're reporting so <clears throat> they're all acting fairly weak so you can see here's wells fargo coming into 45 uh city as well you know they're they're not acting strong like you know they're not hopping way up up there so when we look at goldman sachs and you look here kind of for the daily you know try to go a little bit higher but really we're not doing too much so when we're looking at um the chart here on the technical side uh what you'll see is is the swing point way back here in january kind of made a little bit of a high and we're coming right into that so the support overall may not be just because of earnings it may be just because of the previous positioning that people have and they may be buying more on the dip or where it's coming back to their price level and uh, there could be dollar cost averaging. So overall, you've got this kind of rounding thing going on uh, right here where the stock just arced. You've got this pickup also of bearish volume right there. So note that right here. And then as you just check out the support level, you've got a nice psychological 300 level. So I would watch those levels right there um, in this stock. If we take a quick little Fibonacci level from some of these swing points, right here and go to the highs you can see we're kind of coming into about a 50 percent level right there and that 50 percent on those fibs they don't always work out but that's just a normal general retracement that you know you can expect for stocks to have i will mention that we are looking like we're rolling on this when you look at the moving averages they're slowing down right this is kind of picking up speed here but now it's slowing down so it is to expect that that you know, we might just get a little bit of stagnant growth or just some sideways action. You could get a few pops, a few drops, and overall, you're just going to be staying maybe in a tr trading range. So it's not to say you can't trade it, but it'd be more along the lines of when it dips, you kind of buy on dips. And when it rips a little bit higher, you're kind of selling. But as far as like holding for a longer period of time, I think that's a little bit more of a cautionary time frame right now. And you need to be a little bit more careful for that and uh, spread that out maybe across multiple months. Because we haven't really seen like this nasty moves like we've had in the past, but we also haven't seen the, uh, big pops either. So... I would look for you know any big pullbacks that's where you could get into the stock and then as we power higher especially around the 400 that's going to be toppy so i don't know if we're going to get there the market's very cautious uh so it'll take some time uh to get to that level so kind of 300 
Let's see what happens there. That's kind of a level, but you do have this bearish volume that's just right there. So it is acting a bit weak. Uh, we just passed the earnings, so that's um, that's pretty good. And it allows you now to position a lot of trades around that if you like, and um, you know, not worry about the upcoming news event uh, in, in the future. So anyway, I hope that helps. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, weekend ahead, and I will see you next time.